if you've read any of my articles about Jack and Owen, uh, my two young grandchildren, uh, you'll know that I write uh, these articles in part so that they have a physical memory on paper or on the internet of things that we did in their first five years of growing up. Jack is just over four and a half, Owen is just over two and a half. And by the time they become teenagers, all those memories of all the fun things that we have done together would lost lost forever. Um, and, and that's sad. Uh, I had two grandfathers who both died prior to my turning five. And I, I only have one single memory. And it's a very foggy or very shadowy memory of sitting in the backyard of his home in uh, Merchantville, New Jersey, in the backyard under Laurel Arbor. And that's all that I have. And that lack of knowledge grieves me. That I, I don't have any memory of our times together. And if that grieves me, you can imagine what Jack and Owen's memory of me will be when they become teenagers, prior to five. There is a, uh, I was reading an article in National Geographic that talked about uh, scientists taking newborn infants a couple of hours after they were been born and putting a little uh, kind of skull cap on them that has little neuron or little electrodes on it. And they can read what is going on in the child's brain. Um, And these scientists claim that the, uh, the newborn's brain has about a hundred billion neurons. And by the time that they become three, if they have parents and grandparents and family members that talk with the child and have fun and experience with them, that the child will connect those neurons to each other, creating a hundred trillion connections. And that begins the process of their ability to learn language, to remember things, to make connections. It's kind of like what Steve Jobs talked about, connecting the dots. It's connecting the neurons. Um, and while Jack and Owen, four and a half and two and a half, won't remember any of the events that we've had by the time their teenagers, at least that process helps them in connecting the neurons so that they will grow up fully functional as human beings. And while this is a story about Jack and Owen, it ought to be a story also about what you do with especially young children, helping connecting them and helping them connect the dots, connecting the neurons by talking to them, sharing with them, doing things together. That will all be lost, but not the connection to the neurons. I hope you enjoy this article. More importantly, I hope you enjoy the time that you have with the young children in your family or in your neighborhood. In the meantime, you take care. Thank you.